Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about one of my favourite subjects, which is natural cycles, which is a method of birth control that is non-hormonal. So a quick explanation of natural cycles, you literally wake up at the same time every day, take your temperature, put it into the app and it will give you a green or a red day. So if it's a green day, you are safe to have unprotected sex. If it's a red day, you are highly fertile and it's best to avoid sex or use another form of birth control such as a condom or something like that. So I've been using natural cycles for two years now trying to avoid getting pregnant and it has worked. I am not pregnant, I've had no scares, nothing like that. A few times I've maybe had a longer cycle than I expected um, but normally it's been due to stress. We've had a lot of stuff going on in the world this past year and it has definitely affected my cycle slightly. It's been so interesting to actually see how my body's reacting to everything since coming off birth control. I definitely feel like my body is like able to do its own thing and cope with things how it wants to. So a few times, especially with the lockdowns and everything like that, my body's maybe delayed ovulation for a little bit due to stress. So I've had a few longer cycles, but other than that, no scares, nothing like that. I just kind of want to give you guys a bit of an update, how things are going, answer a few of your questions. So now I've been using natural cycles for two years, it definitely knows my body a lot better. I just want to show you how many green days I get now. So literally, because my body, like my cycle's a lot more regular, I've actually achieved 70% green days in a cycle. That is amazing for me. So let me show you. This was December, um, ending November going to December. As you can see, lots and lots of green days, which is amazing. Please do be aware though, if you are gonna start natural cycles in the beginning, it won't be lots of green days. It's gonna be a lot more red days. And that's because natural cycles is just getting to know your body. In March, I actually quit my job. And also we then went into a lockdown. I was very stressed obviously by this. So. Um, my average cycle, I believe, is like 29 days. However, this month, because I was stressed out, I ended up having a 32-day cycle. So that meant I had more red days. I just want to show you so you can see. I'm going to put a little screen grab here. As you can see, I had a lot more red days. And then, literally, if we move into May, I will show you again. Back to a lot more green days. Everything was back to normal. I've definitely noticed since using natural cycles that my body does definitely react to stress. This month we've gone back into another lockdown, the third one in the UK. And again, my ovulation has come super late this month and I've had a lot more red days than normal. But it's literally, that is just my body reacting to everything going on. So I'm just gonna answer some questions now. So Beth asks, do you take your temperature at the same time every day? So I try to take my temperature within a two hour window period. I wake up quite a bit in the night. Um, so that's why I have temps literally within them literally any time between them two hours um however i do know a lot of people that sleep through and just take the temperature when their alarm goes off um so literally just whatever works for you i definitely think once you've been using natural cycles for a couple of months you kind of figure out what works best for you in that respect anyway do you think it's easy to stick to abstaining on red days so personally for us i think because we were so adamant that we were doing this to avoid pregnancy um, I literally just stayed away from sex on red days. <laughs> I'm like, no, stay away from me. Um, but literally, it's you just soon get used to just thinking, like you take your temperature in the morning, you find out if it's a green or red day. Literally, that's all there is to it. The more you use it, the less red days you will get. And you will definitely find it easier to avoid sex on them days. However, I know like some people, it's just so hard for them. That's why I definitely think it's important that you both have a conversation before you start it. I remember like me and Sean sat down and we spoke about it. And like we both agreed that we would do our bit, you know, both of us, to make sure that this worked for us. I think as well, that's why I love natural cycles, because I feel like it's not just on me, the responsibility. I feel like it's me and Sean, like both of us working together as a team to make sure that we're doing what we want to do. So I get asked this all the time, have I ever had a pregnancy scare uh, with natural cycles? No, I haven't. One thing I always wanted to know when I was watching these videos, I could not get my head around, like do, they ha do people have unprotected sex using natural cycles? 
and I was just like, I just need to know the answer because I want to know like how this birth control works and um, if it is literally just you take temperature and you just carry on using condoms or something like that. Um, so on a green day, you can have fully unprotected sex, use nothing, nothing at all. My personal advice to anyone who's starting natural cycles, if you are trying to avoid please use something like a condom in the first three months. Natural Cycles is accurate from day one, but my personal advice to you would be use condoms for your first three months, sorry, and then you've just got like that backup method on green days whilst Natural Cycles is working out your cycle. Um, also, I would say if you are really, really, really trying to avoid, you know pregnancy is 110% something you cannot deal with right now, don't trust pre-ovulation green days. Your ovulation can come sooner. Hey guys, it's Editing Beth here. Um, I literally just watched this clip and realised I got a phone call and I didn't finish off explaining when I got off the phone. So basically the reason I'm saying is avoid green days before ovulation if you are a hundred, a thousand percent definitely not okay with pregnancy is because your ovulation can come sooner. Natural cycles does does give you more red days before ovulation just for in case of this however you never know what your body's gonna do it could come super early and obviously then result in a unwanted pregnancy that's all i'm gonna say um if you're worried about this then maybe use condoms on green days before ovulation personally i never have and everything's been fine but it's just what you feel comfortable with doing so i just wanted to let you know about that just so that you're aware if um, you do start natural cycles, I highly recommend that you start trying to learn and just educate yourself a little bit on how the female body works. I'm going to recommend a book in this video and it's so helpful and it will teach you more than I ever could. Definitely, definitely check it out. The more informed you are and how much and the more knowledge you have on how your body works, the better of a decision you will be able to make based on your current circumstances and what's best for you. So yeah, um, back to the video. When was your first non-fertile day after starting natural cycles? So my first green day was actually five weeks to the date after I started natural cycles. I'd been on birth control for five years nearly, I think it was. So it was well in my system. One of the biggest reasons I love natural cycles is because when me and Sean decide that we do want to start our own little family, I will have such good knowledge on when I'm most fertile. It makes me super excited to think about the future and how like good of a tool natural cycles will be for us both. Because I've used it for so long now, I feel like when it comes to the time, I'll have a good idea on when's best for us to try. Obviously I know like it's not gonna happen overnight and I probably won't get pregnant straight away like first time round, but it's just nice to know that if things aren't really working, that I can like go to my doctors and be like, I know when I ovulate, I'm doing the right things and it's not working, what can we do next? Like, I feel like I'll be a step ahead, if that makes sense. I also just want to recommend taking charge of your fertility. So I'm reading this book, as you can see, I'm probably like over a quarter way through. This is so like, so much knowledge is in this book. It is so big, like yes, um, but it just teaches you about the FAM method so it gives you another way to track your fertility alongside natural cycles so things like cervical mucus and um, things like that so you can check it yourself and also work out if it's showing fertility signs it's just like another way to expand your knowledge and I feel like every girl should read this I guarantee you will read that book and think why was we not taught this stuff at school I also just want to give you a couple of facts about natural cycles so natural cycles is FDA cleared in the US. They've been available as a contraceptive in the US since the since 2018. Natural cycles with typical use is 93% effective and with perfect use it is 98% effective. So if you want to join natural cycles I will leave my refer a friend link in the description. It's literally just a link that everybody gets when they join natural cycles. You will get 20% discount off an annual subscription using the link and you will also get a free basal thermometer. So literally saving you the dollar. I get a £10 gift card from it if you do join. It's not, I'm not posting it because of that. That's literally just what Natural Cycles does. I'm literally just 
literally wanting to tell you guys about natural cycles. I wish I knew about it sooner and also when I was looking at videos I found it really helped me make my mind up about whether I wanted to join natural cycles or not. You can also check out the description for some other videos I've done on natural cycles. I've done a one year update and also a Q&A because I had lots of questions so feel free to check them out as well if you want a little bit more information. If you guys have any more questions just ask them in the comments below. I literally reply to all the comments so don't be afraid to ask anything. Nothing is too much. <laughs> I will answer anything. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all again very very soon. Have a lovely day.